look at that. Bam. So much fun. We're going to get him right back in the water. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Super excited. Uh, it's Thursday, July 9th, about 6.45 in the morning. A little chilly out. It was only 37 when I got out of the truck, so it's a little chilly, but it feels good. I started early because I got a long uh, trek ahead of me. I'm going back about 10 miles for base camp. Anyway, I'm going to get on the trail. Looking forward to a good long hike. <laughs> I had to stop and take in the view and uh, both the sound. I don't know if my camera picks it up, but the river down there is raging. Uh, I do have to cross it, so I'm just hoping to find a nice safe place to pass. Now, luckily that river crossing wasn't so bad. I found a really easy place to cross. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, I had to stop for five minutes and just uh, watch and listen. But back on the trail now and about four more miles to go. It's just unreal how pretty it is back here. I'm about nine miles back and uh, the trail pretty much stops right here. Um, so I've got about another mile to go uh, where there's no trail. Really excited to get there. I'm pretty tired. I need some coffee and to rest. But uh, you know, grayling fishing should be out of control. So uh, almost there. So I haven't seen anybody yet. It'd be pretty pretty rare to see somebody where I'm going, um, even though it's some of the best grayling fi fishing in the uh, Hiawinas. It's a lot of work to get there, you know, 10, 10 miles uh, roughly, and a mile or so off trail. So uh, tomorrow, uh, pretty excited about that. I'm going up over the paths. Uh, you can't see from here to uh, one of the lakes. It's known as uh, one of the most inaccessible lakes in the Hiawintas after cutthroat trout, I believe. So. We'll see what happens there, but plenty to do around uh, the lake that I'm going to camp at for today, and we'll get out and explore tomorrow. So as I'm just walking here through the forest, I just jumped a moose. Uh, it's about 30 yards ahead of me. I can't see it anymore. Uh, I couldn't tell if it was a bull or, or not, but we're going to try and kind of just find a safe way to get around that. Uh, but I would like mm -hmm. to see it from a safe distance. Well, I didn't see or hear it again, but I walked quite a ways uh, around to give it the respect. You know it needs up here. Um, I definitely don't want a moose encounter up close, but uh, I can see my lake, so pretty excited. Uh, it's kind of hidden in the trees, but we'll show you when we get there. Uh, it feels good to be uh, where I'm at. Long hike in. Uh, I'm tired. I know there's a, just a few established campsites around the lake. I'm trying to find one of them.
So I got my camp set up. This is about one of the only safe spots to camp around the lake. Uh, there's a, an established pad right here and a fire ring right over there. Uh, but there's a lot of uh, really scary looking deadfall around just the other two or three campsites around the lake. And, uh, you know, I didn't want to worry about that as I slept. So here I am. After I have some coffee, I'm going to put my fly rods together. I brought two this time. Typically, I bring a fly rod and a tenkara. Um, I've, I've got a, a friend of mine borrowed my tenkara rod, so I've brought two fly rods this time. You know, I don't want to pack in 10 miles uh, on a fishing trip and, and, and not have a spare. Uh, I just picked up a new three weight. Really looking forward to getting into these grayling with it. They are aggressive and they're going to be so much fun on that rod. But... All right, time has come to fish. Uh, it's about 2 o'clock, maybe even 2.30 now. So I'm rigged up. I'm going to walk right here uh, just by the shore, right by camp, and uh, start here. So this is where I'm going to get started. Like I said, I did bring two fly rods, my three weights right there, but I'm going to get started with my five weight. I don't know if you can see that little leech pattern, but that's what I'm going to start with. And I've got a lot of, uh, you know, emails asking me to show what I use. So that's it right now. Got to get out there a little deeper. Dang it. Two. Yeah. And my reel's a little loose. Looks like a very pretty grayling. Oh, heck yeah. Such pretty fish. Beautiful fish. Had a strike right, right out of the gate. Bingo! Yeah! Feels like another good one. Yeah. Another really pretty fish. Right there, bam! Yeah, oh that's a good one. Oh, dang. Look at that chunky grayling. Beautiful fish. That is why we come here. Beautiful grayling. Wow. I've been on the water for maybe 30 minutes, 40 at the most. Uh, I've caught about 15 fish already. Uh, all grayling, been about 12 to uh, the biggest around 16 inches. So awesome, awesome fishing. Uh, I'm really excited to use my three weight. I haven't used it yet. So we're gonna put the five weight over there on the grass and get the three weight and toss it dry. 
I love the rail on this thing. Uh, it's by Lamson. And that little fur ball is what we're going to toss. So I'm just moving down about 20 yards to get uh, started again. Uh, that was quite a bit of pressure that I just put on them right there. So I'm really looking forward to catching a fish with this thing. Holy cow. Wasn't expecting that one. Good grayling. Look at these pig graylings I'm pulling out of here. Uh, this one was on my three weight. So much fun. We're gonna get him right back in the water. It's almost five and I am back at camp. You know, I went down to the water thinking I was just going to be down for an hour. Um, I was down there for like three and a half. Insane fishing. Uh, you know, I, I don't count. I don't keep track of numbers. I would estimate 40, maybe. Uh, at least 15 of those were in the 16 inch range. Really healthy, chunky grayling. So much fun to catch. They're, they're the funnest fish, uh, you know, you can catch up here. So... Just, uh, you know, red, red hot fishing. But uh, I got to do a little camp camp work. And uh, I'm going to have a snack first. A little Nutter Butter peanut butter bars. Finish my juice water. I need to process a little bit of firewood. Um, so I can have a little bit of a fire tonight before bed. So I'm going to have a little snack. Do that. And I'll be down at the water one more time before dark. Maybe in an hour or two. It is so peaceful up here alone. Oh, I just love it. It's a, it's a sick addiction. It only took 20 minutes to, to pick up some firewood. There's so much dead wood around here that very little processing or work to be done there. So right now I'm just taking a little walk. Um, I have been to this lake before one time a few years ago, but I was just here briefly and I didn't camp. So I really haven't spent too much time here. I've never walked around it, which is what I'm doing now. And when I get back to camp, I'll probably rig up and hit the water again. Just having an incredible time. So, so relaxing. Tomorrow I'm going up and over that pass to uh, Lake. There's two of them back there. Well, there's a few of them back there, but two of them in particular are known as the, the most inaccessible lakes in the Hiawinas. I've been to one of them before um, when I was here a couple years ago, two or three, and I told myself I'd never hike back there again. It was the nastiest hike I've ever done to get to those lakes, and uh, you know, here we are, gonna do it again tomorrow. It is stupid to come back here.
Nice. Oh, beautiful little fish. <laughs> That's a good grayling. Come on. Whoo! Look at that fish. That is a beautiful grayling. I'm giving that three way all kinds of problems. Oh, look at that. Bam. That's a better one. This little three-way is so much fun. Let's see if we can't get this one here in the net. Come back. There's that one. Very pretty grayling. Back in the water. Home. Good evening. Uh, I'm back at camp. I don't know what time it is. Probably around 8:30. Uh, the evening fishing started off really slow, um, but then it picked up about in the last hour or so, and uh, caught a whole bunch again on dries. So much fun. Uh, had a great time down there. It is time to start winding down. I'm really hungry, so I'm gonna get a fire going. Uh, probably gonna have some top ramen for dinner tonight, but we're gonna get the fire going first, and uh, I gotta dry out my pants, they're a little wet. Doing the top ramen tonight. Should be ready in a few minutes. Uh, I'm gonna sit by the fire probably till around dark, and I'll be in bed pretty early. Been a long day, a lot of work, so I'm really looking forward to laying down. Fire feels good. Dinner was good. I'm gonna finish my night off with some chamomile tea. 